Today I'm going to show you the running shoe that changed the game for me forever. I'm going to do it from the comfort of my cold tub because I just got done running about six miles and that'll also help me keep this video short and concise. Let's go. Alright, three and a half minutes starts right now. Uh, give me just a few seconds to get acclimated here. Alright. So the shoe I'm talking about, uh, and first of all, I'm not affiliated with uh, this brand or anything like that. Uh, in fact, if you want to find this shoe, you're going to have to go research it because I'm not going to link it. But it is the Salcony Endorphin Pro 2. Um, and it's just been an amazing shoe. It's changed the game for me forever. Uh, I cut a ton of time off my pace. I love it, and I'll probably never go back. Whew, it's chilly in here. Okay, so uh, a buddy of mine told me about this shoe. Uh, I didn't believe him. I didn't believe uh, the hype around it. Uh, but I started trying it and I just loved it. So um, it's got this carbon fiber plate in it that apparently is supposed to make you uh, kind of propel your movement forward and propel your steps forward. And so when I made the switch, uh, I didn't start working any harder or running any faster uh, it purposefully. Uh, and it just cut off the it cut off my pace pretty significantly. So um, I'm not a fast runner. I've been running for a few years now. I ran 750 miles uh, in 2023. Um, and what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to show you the screenshots from my last uh, eight months of running. And I want you to try and pinpoint uh, where you think I made the switch from my old Salcony shoe that didn't have the carbon fiber plate to this new Salcony shoe um, that uh, has just changed my, changed my game forever. So it should be pretty easy for you. I'm going to put these screenshots up now from the last eight months. One month, two month, three month, four month, five month, six months, seven month, eight months. Uh, go ahead and study those for a little bit. Um, and I'm going to sit here in this cold tub uh, while we do it. Uh, hopefully those uh, screenshots are popped up now. Okay, so hopefully you have kind of found where uh, where I made the switch. Uh, drum roll for the answer of where I made the switch to the Selkony Endorphin Pro 2. And by the way, there's newer versions of this shoe already. I think they're onto the 3 and maybe even the 4. I like the 2. I'll probably run in it forever if I can find it. Uh, I haven't tried the 3 or the 4. Um, drum roll for when I made the switch, uh, October 28th, 2023. So uh, like I said, I'm not a super fast runner. Um, it cut my pace down from an average of like 8 minutes 30 seconds uh, to 7 minutes and 45 seconds sub 7.45, cut my, sh my pace down 45 seconds just by making the switch to this shoe. Um, so it's just an amazing shoe. I can't recommend it enough. Like I said, I'm not affiliated or anything like that with Selkony. I just like talking about products that actually work. Um, and so this has been one that changed my running game and I wanted to share that with uh, you all. So if you're looking for something that's going to make you a little bit faster, like I said, I'm not the fastest runner, but immediately when I made the switch, this was the shoe that cut me from 8.30 to 7.45. Uh, timer's up here. Hope you liked this video. Hope it was uh, helpful to you. If it was, uh, subscribe to this channel and I'll keep making more of them. Thanks. <laughs>